Lee. My name is Oliver. If you're new to my content, uh, make sure y'all subscribe, hit the likes, um, so we can get the message out to more people for financial freedom and, you know, protecting themselves from, you know, hacks and, um, you know, just stuff, just having proper guidance in crypto. Um, you know, you want to help other people out and make the space better. Um, but I want to talk about, um, well, first of all, um, I'm checking in from JBC Dubai. Um, I'm officially a resident in the UAE, so I'm not in America no more. So um, I moved my uh, crypto company in United, you know, in United Arabic Emirates. Um, and pretty much, I've been living here for six months, and I highly recommend uh, making a move out here. It's, it's, it's just amazing compared to the United States. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been amazing out here, man. It's just quality, better quality, man. Uh, better food, uh, you know, better infrastructure here, um, everything. It's just been a lot of uh, quality. You get to keep most of your money out here compared to the United States. Um, I bought my first property. I'm, in a, I'm currently in an Airbnb right now. Um, my property is being, uh, you know, c under construction. So I just finished the snagging process. So, um, I want to say around like by the end of January, I should be moving in. So I'm going to have a, a really good setup um, there. And um, yeah, man, uh, just been working on my application and um, working on a lot of stuff. I don't want to talk too much on it. It's just I want to make, you know, once I drop it, you know, like once once I show it to you, once I present it to you, you know that it's working. I don't want to um, set high expectation for people for me to say something. So I just want to wait till it's alive and then you can see it to be like, whoa, so this is what you've been doing for all these years, like that you've been away from YouTube. Yeah. So um, it's going to be big, guys. It's going to be big and um, happy New Year's. I just want to show up in 2024. I just want to show up, do the best I can. You know, I'm not going to I'm not going to talk too much on it, but I just want to show up you know, creating good content, keeping you up to date with stuff and um, all that stuff. Sorry for the, you know, somebody's taking out the trash. Um, but yeah, uh, I just want to talk about treasure, um, why I think everybody, I'm cutting ties with Ledger. I'm done. Um, I'm not making any more Ledger content. I'm not because my channel it's going to set an example, you know what I'm saying, for safety um, when it comes to storing your crypto. It's very disappointing, man. Very disappointing um, with Ledger. It's, um, I feel like they just shot themselves in the foot, honestly, twice, you know. But, man, it's just like, damn, like, you can't fool me with something like that. It's all bullshit. To me, I feel like it was a backdoor attack. Um, allegedly, um, just to drain people's money. Um, I feel like Ledger's dirty for doing that. And, um, and the fact that it's closed source, pretty much nobody can verify, nobody can review anything. You know what I'm saying? If it's closed source, nobody, you know, it's not open to the public. It's not um, transparent. So um, to me, that was a red flag. And I didn't know anything about that until now and really started doing some research because I was like, man, personally me, I can't afford to lose my uh, crypto position. I can't, you know, I can't start from zero. You know what I'm saying? Like just knowing inflation is high and everything, I can't do it again. Like I wanna make sure that, you know, the next wallet that I'm buying just makes sense. So um, came across Treasure and uh, man, when I tell you, I've been using it for two weeks. And um, all I gotta say is, when it comes to security and privacy, this is the wallet you wanna get. Um, you're gonna appreciate the little things when it comes to security and privacy. It's just um, unbelievable. It's just crazy. Like, for the past 10 years, you know what I'm saying? Well, I ain't gonna say that. I got in crypto in 2017, late 2017, so. But Treasure's been around for 10 years, ever since Ledger uh, was the spotlight. You know, Treasure always been a competitor towards Ledger. 
it was always an alternative. So, in my opinion, um, just been using this, uh, you know, the Treasure Model T has just been amazing. Um, you can even, um, you can store Luxo as well, L-Y-X, on here, which is crazy. Um, the only thing I'm pissed off is they don't have Polkadot yet. Um, so I still have to kind of like keep my Polkadot separate on my Polkadot wallet so they don't, they don't support Polkadot yet. But y'all want to tweet about we're going to support Solana, we're going to support um, Solana, right? But Polkadot is in the top, uh, close to the top 10 cryptocurrency by market cap. And y'all still don't have Polkadot? Like, that's crazy. Um, because I, I believe in uh, Dr. Gavin Wood. Um, Polkadot is the best out there when it comes to infrastructure and tech. Polkadot and uh, Luxo uh, when it comes to tech and innovation. So, um, but most coins are supported on here. Uh, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, ERC20 tokens on Ethereum. So you can send it to the same address. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be creating new um, tutorial videos for the ledger. I mean, not, not ledger, for the treasure. I have to, I got to get used to saying that. Um, but when it comes to security, uh, treasure is just amazing. All I got to say, you have to try it for yourself. Like, it's just amazing. Um, when it comes to, you know, making sure the product is authentic and um, making sure that it's not tampered with, they have this holographic seal on the device, making sure that uh, it's not tampered with, which is amazing. I mean, Ledger never done this. Like, it's crazy to me. Like, just seeing, like, yo, if they doing this, that just tells me that, um, you know, Treasure really cares for their customers. Uh, Ledger, on the other hand, is just like, they, it's kind of like Apple. I don't know. It's the most compatible, so you go with it, right? But uh, with Treasure, I mean, it's just amazing, man, when it comes to security and privacy. Um, but yeah, um, also, each firmware, each new device, the firmware is not updated on the device. So you have to manually download the firmware on the device and one thing to know if somebody already used the device if the firmware is already installed on the device that's amazing making sure that um you, you are protected and your funds are safe you know on this new device yep it's open source so the firmware the wallet and the updates are open source um, anybody can view the code everything is open source so that's amazing uh being transparent and that uh, keeps everything safer from attacks and stuff like that. So with Ledger, since the software, the Kinect software was closed source, it's kind of like you're wearing a blindfold. You can't really see what's going on if, if it's closed source and it's not transparent. So that makes it a huge threat. You're not seeing what's going on with the code because it's closed source. You know, nobody else can verify um, the code, not even, you know, developers and stuff like that so in my opinion open source is the way to go that's going to be the new standard when it comes to getting a wallet making sure that it's open source and it's transparent where it can be audited it can be verified by developers so you know what's going on with the uh wallet you know in the process of the updates and everything like that the firmware and all that stuff so that's key um Yep, so device security, open source and transparent, USB-C, which is amazing. Somehow it's got a micro SD slot, which is crazy. Like, that's pretty cool. Touchscreen, pen, and a passphrase. Like, bro, it has a passphrase on the device. So let's say somebody was able to get into your treasure, and let's say they was trying to move some Bitcoin, right? You can have a passphrase on top of that, like another layer of protection over your, your assets in order for them to send or receive. So that's that's amazing. Just the little things that you can appreciate. So with privacy, you can go incognito mode with uh, CoinJoin, uh, which just pretty much 
increase your privacy and anonymity, uh, which is cool. Increase privacy with coin control. That's another thing. Um, also, this is very key. Protect your identity with Tor. This is another big one. Game changer. You know, you can increase your anonymity with the Tor network. Nobody know who you are and what you're doing on your computer. That's amazing. Uh, backup. You have a 12-word recovery phrase. You have the 2FA um, standard authentication. And that's pretty much it. It's just um, overall, it's just open source and it's transparent that's the key for Trezor and you can use it for dApps and stuff like that you can connect it to MetaMask or Brave Wallet to interact with Wallet Connect towards dApps Ethereum dApps and all of that stuff I'm gonna create new tutorial videos on Trezor thought this was very interesting so apparently they don't like uh, Bluetooth or NFC capability to hit Wi-Fi there's no Bluetooth with Trezor um, everything is all cord um, which is, you know, good in my opinion because I always thought, you know, Bluetooth and NFC could be a way of people attacking your device or card or whatever, trying to get some information and stuff. So, yeah, everything is wired and I feel like that's um, really good for security purposes when it comes to a crypto wallet. Um, they do not mess with Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or NFC when it comes to building their products. It gives a level of safety and security, transparent, open source, hardware. To all my subscribers and people who are just watching, basic people, like I said, I'm not an expert. You know, I'm just here sharing what I know. You know what I'm saying? What I'm doing. I'm just showing you what I'm doing and how you can increase your security and privacy and making sure that um, y'all create multiple wallets. Create two wallets. You have a dummy wallet for testing dApps and signature signing. And then you have, you know, your NFT wallet you have your balance wallet, you know, you just want to protect yourself. You stay diversified and don't put everything in one wallet. We have to start increasing security procedures when it comes to crypto because cyber attacks are on the horizon and I feel like um, just have to be on top of it, you know. This is the second strike and that's it for me for Ledger. Like I'm done. I'm done. If you need like additional help, I mean, you can go through my catalog. I know how to do this stuff. Um, you can look at my older videos. I've been doing ledger videos for a while now so and you know pretty much being an underdog for doing it um i may not be the most popular but i'm an underdog for sure i know what i'm talking about and i know what i'm doing when it comes to operating on web3 but if you feel like you need that extra assistance i have a link in the description that you can book an appointment with me verify we can get on a zoom call whatever you know and i can help you um, you know, move whatever you got to move to your ledger, but I'm just not, I'm not going to do any more videos because um, this is just, a, you know, another step for protecting my subscribers, protecting users to understand that, hey, ledger is not safe anymore. It's been breached and I feel like they're dirty, allegedly. And um, it's just disappointing and it's just, it don't make any sense. Why would you shoot yourself in the foot? It's whatever, man. Um, that's pretty much it. Y'all see me Thursday talk about trades, swing trades, uh, taking a look at Bitcoin charts and stuff like that, what I think is going to happen. And, you know, I'm going to do tutorials on Tuesdays and trading videos on Thursdays and updating you with my positions and my trade, my swing trades. But um, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. hope you find this video useful. If I deserve your thumbs up, make sure y'all smash the like button. Till next time, this is Oliver and I'm signing out.